If you have an AMD GPU and you get low FPS, stutters or FPS drops in your games, this video is the one for you. I will show you how to debloat and install AMD drivers, tweak the AMD GPUs and optimizing the AMD Radeon settings to boost FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops without any BS. So let's get right into it. The very first thing that you want to do after creating your restore point is to download the ultimate AMD optimization pack. Inside of here, we're gonna start off by properly debloating and installing the AMD drivers, then applying some of the AMD tweaks to ensure that we are getting the most performance and then some of the advanced settings and optional settings that we're gonna be going over. So let's go into the debloat drivers folder and inside of here you want to open up the DDU folder first. We're gonna be using the display driver uninstaller in order to properly uninstall the currently installed drivers so that there are no leftovers. Simply right click on it and run it as administrator and the first time it opens up you may have some options inside of here, you want to leave them at default, then hit OK, then select the device type and set it to GPU. It should automatically detect the AMD GPU but if it doesn't simply select the AMD from here and click on clean and restart. So now that you have uninstalled your current drivers and restarted your PC, go into the AMD drivers folder and then double click on this link right here to open up the AMD website. Now here what you want to do is scroll down and search for your graphics card. So I'm gonna search for RX 580 and there it is, I'm gonna click on it, then click on search. Then select your Windows version and then click on the download button to download the latest driver. Now once you have the driver downloaded, what you want to do is go back to the debloat drivers folder and open up the Radeon software slimmer, then right click on the Radeon software slimmer.exe and run it as admin. So once this opens up, click on pre-install and then click on browse. Then here select your driver that you just downloaded and click on open, then click on next, then next once again and then it's gonna extract the driver files so that we can modify them. Alright, now that the driver files have been extracted, we're gonna be removing a lot of the useless stuff from the driver. Starting off inside of the packages, make sure to click on select none and then go ahead and select the AMD display driver, the AMD DVR64 if you want to record your gameplays using the AMD software but if you don't want to record that, you can simply go ahead and uncheck this one as well. Then you also want to check the AMD HDMI audio driver and the high definition audio controller in case you use your monitor audio or even in some cases this one is actually required. Then the last thing that you want to select is actually the AMD settings and if you have an AMD CPU as well then you might want to select the Ryzen Master SDK as well. But since I have an Intel CPU, I'm gonna uncheck this one and these are the only 5 things that we're gonna be keeping inside of our driver. The rest of the components that are unchecked are going to be removed from the driver. Once we are done inside of here, we're gonna move on to schedule tasks and make sure to select none inside of here. None of these are really required so we can move on to display driver components. Inside of here, once again click on select none and the ones that we want to keep are the AMD PCI Bridge device extension, the AMD Windows support components and the AMD OpenCL user mode driver. So these are the three that we want to keep checked. Now once we have done all of this, all we need to do is click on the modify installer and then as you can see that all of those have been removed, we can click on run the installer. Then it will launch the normal AMD driver installer and on this screen I always check the don't allow AMD to collect information and then you simply click on install. Now for the sake of the video, of course I won't be installing the driver right now but all of you guys go ahead and install the driver and then come back to the video. And now assuming that all of you have properly uninstalled and also reinstalled the debloated driver, it's time to optimize the AMD software Adrenaline Edition. So once you open this up, go on to the settings and then click on preferences. Inside of here, make sure that the in-game overlay is turned off, system tray menu, advertisement and toast notifications, everything inside of here should be turned off. Also disable the animations and effects and that's all we want to do inside of preferences. Hotkeys really don't mean anything and then for system what we want to do is make sure that the preferred software version are recommended only and check for updates should be disabled. The reason for that is we don't want it to keep checking for updates in the background and we especially don't want it to automatically download those updates because we just went through so much in order to download and install a debloated driver and all of that would be for nothing if it automatically downloaded the latest driver. Then scroll down and disable the issue detection as well. Other than that, there is pretty much nothing inside of here. Now what we want to do is click on gaming and then go to graphics. Now inside of here, make sure that all of these settings are disabled, then click on advance and copy all of my settings. So the frame rate target control should be disabled, same thing for anti-aliasing, make sure that it is set to use application settings, anisotropic filtering should be disabled, texture filtering quality should be set to performance and surface format optimization should be enabled. For the tessellation mode, make sure that you set it to use application settings as well, especially if the game has inbuilt tessellation settings 
settings, OpenGL triple buffer should be disabled and the rest of the settings just go ahead and copy the ones that I have. Then moving on to display, make sure that the AMD FreeSync is disabled. The virtual super resolution should also be disabled and other than that, make sure that you copy all of these settings. Now one thing that I always do and like to do is to increase the vibrance of my display. For that, we can go ahead and enable the custom color and simply go ahead and bump up the saturation by just a little bit and you can see the difference for yourself. Then inside of record and stream, well all of these are personal preferences. If you have kept the recording software, you can change the settings inside of here. Then moving on to the performance tab, inside of here go into the tuning options and inside of here you can overclock your GPU automatically by simply clicking on this little button or you can set even manual tuning. So if we go ahead and click on it, then click on I accept. What we want to do is enable fan tuning, make sure that 0 RPM is disabled and that's the only thing I would recommend doing inside of here because we will be looking at overclocking and all of that good stuff later in this video. So simply click on apply changes and that should be good. Now that we have optimized the AMD software, you can close out of this and open up the pack once again. Moving on to AMD tweaks and the first one is clear dot pad. This is going to clear all of the shader cache and the GPU cache that has been building up in your windows. So simply right click on it and run it as administrator and then let it delete all of those useless files. Then the full AMD GPU tweaking, I'm gonna go ahead and edit it to show you what it actually does. First of all, it's going to set the AMD driver thread priority to high for all of the games. Then it's also going to disable the ultra low power state so that your GPU driver doesn't ever enter the low power state mode. Then it's going to disable driver searching with Windows because of course we don't want to automatically update to the latest driver that Windows finds because that one is going to be completely bloated. And finally, it disables the GPU energy saving driver which is a completely useless setting so we're gonna be disabling it. In order to apply it, of course, you need to just double click on it, hit yes and hit ok. Now for these two, you will need to apply the one depending on your system specs. So if you are not really sure, you can leave down your system specs in the comments down below and I will tell you which one to apply. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna apply the low to medium end optimization and then we can move on to the MSI Utility V3. So simply right click on it and run it as administrator. And once it opens up, make sure that your GPU is selected, MSI box is checked and the interrupt priority is set to high. Then hit apply and you can close out of this. And finally, we have the optional AMD CPU priority. Now in case that you have an AMD CPU along with your AMD GPU, you should go ahead and use this registry file. But since I have an Intel CPU, I'm gonna skip this one. Now we can move on to the advanced settings and inside of here, you will find three folders. One that will apply to all GPUs, so whether you have an older AMD GPU or even a newer one, one that will apply to the older versions and one that will apply to the newer versions of the AMD GPUs. I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna show you all GPUs at the end so you can simply use that one. So open up this folder and inside of here you will find the more clock tool. Now this one will only work on newer GPUs so if I try to run it as admin it of course won't open up since I have an RX 580. So to make it really easy for all of you who have one of these graphics cards I have created this written guide. So all you need to do is double click on this link to open up the written guide which will take you right here. Do not click on anything and simply read through this to apply all of the changes step by step. Step. What this will do is basically overclock your GPU so that you get the most performance out of it. And now if you have an older GPU like the RX 400 or the 500 series like me, all you need to do is right click on this tool and run it as administrator. Now inside of here, what you want to do is first of all double click all of these P states except P2. So P0, P1, P3, 4, 5, 6 and even 7. Make sure to double click all of these to disable them and set the timing level to level 2 if you have the option available. And finally, you want to of course turn off 0 RPM if you did not turn it off from the software and the final thing that you want to do is for the 85 degrees you want it to set it to like 80 for the percentage of fan speed and when the GPU temperature is at 76 degrees you want to run it at about 70%. Once you have done all of this all you need to do is click on apply you can also go ahead and click on save then save it with the name of your graphics card so I'm gonna type in RX 580 hit ok and now whenever I click on load it's going to load this program file. Now we can close out of this and go back into the pack. But if you want to go ahead and skip through all of this, all you need to do is open up the all GPUs folder, then download the MSI Afterburner and MSI Combustor and then open up this link which will take you to my video that I recently made on how to safely overclock any GPU. So you won't have to go through this or even this and all you can do is follow along with this video which is really simple and easy and safely overclock any GPU to get the maximum performance out of that. And now that we are done with all of these, we can move on to the optional tweak but why is it optional in the first place so with the latest
latest AMD drivers, they have made some changes so that games that use DX11 such as Fortnite and even Valorant to a point can have some stutters and FPS drops if not configured right. But it doesn't happen to everyone and most of you will be fine without using this tweak whatsoever. So what I want you to do is go into one of your games of choice, play it and make sure that you get no stutters or FPS drops. But if you are still getting FPS drops or stutters and you are using DX11, then what you want to do is come inside of here, right click on the Radeon DX configurator and run it as admin. If it says that don't run, it's completely fine, you can check it online, simply click on more info and click on run anyway. Now you will need to of course get the .NET file, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes to download it now. The .NET framework is just required to run the software and it also helps with some of the games. So while that's downloading in the background, I'm gonna show you what we are gonna be doing inside of here since it's really simple. So open up the DX11.png and inside of here, as you can see, this will be the interface of this software. What you would want to do is simply click on set regular DX11 and then restart your PC. This is going to make sure that all of those changes to DX11 made by the latest AMD drivers are set back to default and then go into your games and ensure that you are getting no stutters or FPS drops. But if you still get FPS drops or stutters and you want to revert this, all you need to do is simply run this once again and click on set DX Navi DX11, then restart your PC and you will be reverted back to default. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the AMD optimization guide. If you want to get even more performance out of your system, then check out this video right now.